Hello, welcome to the master cam programming session. So in this session I will I will show you that how we can do the programming. So first of all I will show you that how we can do the facing program, how we can do the OD turning program, how we can create the OD finishing program. So we have 3D model, right? So we don't need 3D model for lathe programming. We need only 2D boundary of this 3D model. So here I will go to the wireframe tab and here I will show you that how we can create the 2D boundary uh, from the 3D model. So you can click here turn profile. So just click on that and select the model and then you can say end selection and then say OK. So once you will click on that you will get 2D section profile of this 3D model. right? So as you can see this is the 2D section profile of this 3D model. I will change the line width, and I will, I will no, it's okay. So first we will create the facing program. So as you can see, there is stock. There is two mm stock in the right side for the facing purpose. So I will create a line. I will create a simple line, and I will hide this model. I will hide this model from the screen. So I will I will select these lines and I will go to the home tab and I will say hide. So as you can see this is the 2D boundary which we need for programming purpose. So in the turning cycle uh, you will get the general cycle as you can see there is multiple options available. First one is roughing, finishing, drilling, facing, cutoff. So these are the cycles which we have to use for programming purpose and here you will get some more option that is canned cycle related so if you have to create editable program if you want to create editable program uh, so you can use these canned cycles so multiple option is there first one is for roughing OD turning OD finishing grooving and pattern roughing so these are the canned cycle and these are the general cycle general cycle means you will get uh, lengthy programs so that will be non editable and this one will be editable so as per your choice you can use the both stages so first of all I will show you facing program so I will select on that and uh, as you can see uh, this is the new window so here we have to define the tool which tool we have to use so here, here you can select this is R.8 tool so you can double click on the tool, just do double click, you will get a new window. So th these are all the details of that tool that I insert. So if you want to customize, you can customize that. You can select here, get insert. So once you will click on that, you will get the library of the insert. So you can select that here. So which insert you need, you can select that from here. So normally we will use TNM, CNMG 1204.8. So here you will get the dimension of insert. So if you have to customize it, you can customize that from here. This is the 12, that is insert diameter. This is the thickness of insert. This is the corner radius of that insert. And if you want to customize the corner radius, you can customize that from here. If you need 0.4, you can change that from here. It's very easy to customize and in the second window you will, see, you, you will get a holder holder uh, drawing so if you want to customize the holder size so you can customize that from here. These are all the drawings. A means this width, B, B means total length. So all the things are available here so you can customize your holder also and if you need circular holder so you can select that from here. If you need rectangular you can select that from here. Now say OK. So we have selected the tool and uh, next we have to define that which tool number we have to use. First one, tool number one, station number one, offset number one, fine. And here you will get the feed rate that is, uh, that is uh, depend on your tool grade and material hardness. So you can, you can fill this as for your tool and uh, material. So spindle speed you will get from here, spindle speed this is RPM. So you can give the RPM value here. So you can give the RPM value as per the tool, as per the diameter. And here you can use CSS. 
that is constant surface speed so in the constant surface speed if you select on this option so you can't give actual actual rpm here so you have to give minimum rpm and maximum rpm so program will uh, generate in g96 in and g97 so you will get a, a different type of rpm as per your uh, job diameter so your your feed rate uh, your rpm will increase your rpm will decrease as per the job diam okay so these are all the things uh, which we have to fill after selecting the tool and here you can customize your home position so if you want to uh, if you want to change if you want to customize the home position if you want to start from here if you want to if, if you want to start from here so you can change that from here you can so you can say from machine you can say user defined so you can define that from here select so suppose you want to start from here so you can select that your tool will start from here and then it will come here and then say okay and the next you have to go uh, that is face parameter so in the face parameter you will get some options that is uh, select points so you can select that from here so we can define that from this point to this point so we have defined the stock and here you can define the entry amount means you have to start from uh, 1 mm above from this face from the od face so you can give the clearance and here you can give the rough step over means depth of cut so you can give 0.8 and here you can give a last cut that will be 0550 micron and number of finish passes will be one passes and here you can give the work over cut amount means uh, suppose you are using 0 0.4 0 0.8 insert so if you if you will not give uh, this overcut amount so there may be leave some material of the corner radius so you can do overcut so we are using 0 0.8 insert right so we can do multiply into 2 so you will get 1.6 overcut from this center so there may be uh, there will be no extra material or points after facing toolpath so here you will get a retraction amount so in every passage you can give the retraction amount means uh, suppose suppose you have given 0.8 depth of cut so it will it will make a first cut and then it will retract so that retraction value you can give here and stock to leave option is there so if you want to stock if you want to leave some stock for finishing purpose so you can give that from here and if you don't want you can make it zero and uh, these are all the compensation value uh, suppose you want to uh, you want to uh, generate your program in where d value in d value so you can do uh, you can select on this where compensation so normally we use computer so i will select that computer okay so we have done this uh, we have we have finished this parameter so now we will say okay so you can see uh, the stock has been removed by this tool and uh, these are all the blue toolpath that is that is called toolpath so you can check that in back plot so as you can see there is an option for back plot so i will select on that and uh, i will i will limit the speed and here i will say play so your tool will move like this this is the general cycle facing toolpath and after this i will show you that how we can create canned cycle facing toolpath all right it's looking good okay so i will i will show you the simulation also i will save this and i will show you the simulation i will select on this verify option so it will open a new window for verification purpose so this is the stock we have defined and this is the chuck we have defined and this is the tool we have defined so i will select on that and here i will i will limit the speed and i will play it so as you can see uh, the facing tool path is going on and it's removing the material continuously perfect so facing, facing toolpath has been done and now we will proceed with uh, canned cycle facing toolpath 
so i will i will hide this toolpath so you can see this is the blue toolpath so I, we can hide that from here just select the toolpath and you can say display toggle off so once more i will show you that how we can create the facing toolpath with candle cycle so i will create a line like this so this is the line now we will go to the same turning tab and here we'll go to the rough cycle so i will select on can rough and then we have to define the chain so i will select i will select partial okay okay and here you can define the here you can select the tool so i will select this tool same tool we will use for the facing and next you can go to the can drop parameter and here simply you have to change this parameter you have to go in the rough direction and here you can select the facing direction so select on that and here you can say stock to leave zero stock to leave zero depth of cut point it okay okay so as you can see we have created the canned cycle facing tool path so you can see uh, the, this tool is moving from here because we forgot to change the home position value so we'll go to the toolpath parameter and here we will say user defined define the position from here okay okay and then say reason red and you can say by plot and then say play this is the can cycle facing toolpath and if you need some more passes so you can extend this line i will show you that i will go to the wireframe tab and here i will say modify length uh, 1.6 to remove the point and here i will create a line like this so you can define that value from here so suppose you have 1 mm stock or 2 mm stock so you can select that so you will get the horizontal line like this and then you can define you can change the geometry from here right click and rechain all select this chain and uh, this chain not that we we forgot to change the direction actually so we have to select this direction and then this direction all right so now we'll select okay okay and then we'll say re-render the selected toolpath so you can see uh, there is showing some cuts so we have given 0.8 mm up cut okay as you can see two passes created with the 0.8 step over like this so i will show you the back plot also back plot it okay fantastic done so so we have covered a uh, facing toolpath using general cycle facing toolpath using general cycle and uh, facing toolpath using canned cycle